Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here with... Being good, Brad. Yes, I've already threatened him with an inch of his life for normal, right? Yes. And with the critters, of course. It is, I, I, I got to, like, sharpen up anything, so not that I know if this helps much or not, but hey. Um, it is March 5th, 2022. It is Saturday. You hear the washer going. You hear the washer going. You hear the dryer going. You hear the dishwasher. Is the dishwasher done? You ready? I don't know. Hmm. Probably. Hey, let's pull this calendar thing. I keep getting to change these. I'm not so thrilled with this life hacks calendar. I don't know what Carol and Kathy think about it, but I'm not so thrilled with it. It's kind of stupid. I thought it would be better. But today's is our app cons consistently asking you to rate, review them. Instead of tapping no, choose yes, wait for it to send you to the review page, then close it. It will never ask you again. Now, that is a good tip because I do get tired of that. If I wanted to review you, I would be, I would do so. But if you keep prompting me every time, I'm going to keep saying no. No. Nope. One good thing I have to say for the calendar is you have, you save, save on the backside, you have a little, yeah. little notepad. Right? Yep. So, um, bring another hat. I'll show you guys just so I happen to have it out here. This is a, you know, a flat brim. And then this to this. And then up it to this color. So, thanks. I really that. like the way that one turned Thank out. Thank you. We had a small order from Aldi's. You guys notice about once a week we end up getting Aldi's. I know when the bananas are running low, I need to also get that. Yogurt, usually creamer, and milk. So, yeah, we get fresh stuff. Um, I did, we did get one of the... I was on a YouTube live. I know. I need to cover this. <laughs> I was on a YouTube live. Uh, I wasn't on it, but I was listening to it. And somebody was talking about, you know, food prices. We all are. And they were talking about Aldi's has taken baked pizza. And I wasn't aware of that either. They do. It's like seven fifteen for the 16-inch Supreme. Did it look preloaded? Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're going to have tonight for dinner. Um, well, it'll do us meals for tomorrow, too. Um, and watch a movie together. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we try to watch a movie together at least once a week. You know. Um, I thought about cleaning some house today, but I just, I'm still really tired. So is Brad. We're still not sleeping worth of poo. Was up till nine o'clock this morning. Wow. Yeah. That was later than me, didn't I? Was I falling? I was falling asleep <sighs> last night eating pop. No, eating cookies. Yes. Eating two cookies. I kept falling asleep, and then Brad would go, "Here, honey, your last part of your cookie in your lap." And I'm like, "I was." I remember saying to you, I didn't know where that had gone to, yep. and I was wondering because I knew I hadn't taken a bite out of that cookie. But I guess I kept falling asleep because Brad's like, "Honey, chew." Honey, chew the crap. I, I was really concerned that you were going to choke choke on a cookie. I was that out of it. So, um, oh, don't ask me. Now, I fell asleep. I don't know what time I fell asleep, but I don't remember you letting the dogs out. What time did you let the dogs out at midnight? It was, was it midnight? About, it was about 1230 because I was watching a movie. And, and I, I, was, I just, I fell asleep relatively early. But, you know, when I, was like, I, I slept, I think, maybe a couple hours, and then, you know, but we'll get it there yet. We're determined. <clears throat> Someday. Yep. Somehow. I have to say, in our defense, though, so yesterday, and the reason why the vlog was up so very late, I don't think it even finished until today, um, because we had no internet for most of yesterday. Yep. And then I didn't, so I did the vlog earlier, but I didn't want to upload it and use, we were hot spotting and use a lot of our data. So, you know, even though it says it's um, uh, unlimited data, well, you reach a certain point and then they do it at a slower speed. So it'll be a month of Sundays before, <coughs> you know. Yep. So I've been listening to a lot of Sam Smith where I got 
serenaded by him, me singing his song early this morning because I received this text from some weirdo that lived in the other part of the mobile home named Brad who said, I can hear you singing. I think it's a Sam Smith song, I believe. It was. I was serenading him. I can get some of his notes pretty good, though. Yeah. He kind of does that almost, he does almost like a, his oculates go up almost like a, a yodel in a way. Yeah. And I can do that. <laughs> Don't mind that. But, I'm just messing around with that. Yeah, I was surprised because it was like 5.30 or 6 this morning when I heard you singing. I fucking hope I woke up the whole neighborhood. You what? I hope I woke up the whole neighborhood. I was not being quiet. Yep, I noticed that. I was thinking it was a good thing that we don't live in an apartment. Yes. Because I wouldn't be able to sing my songs that and serenade be, you the way I do. Very, very sad. If we lived in, oh wow, the tree's getting a bunch of butts on it mm -hmm. out front. Uh, one of the branches is right here where I can see it. But um, did you see the backyard? It's got all the lavender, little lavender flowers all mm -hmm. over it. Yeah, that was cool. Um, but, yeah, so, Brad got serenaded. I know he loves it so much. It was lovely. Actually, he does like it when I, not that I'm a singer. I am not a singer. People pay me not to sing. But he likes it when, because he knows I'm in a good mood if I'm singing, you know. And if I'm in a bad mood, if I put on some music, I'm going to probably be in a good mood then. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Had everything at Aldi's, um, let's see. She said they were out of eggs, but then the eggs came. So I think maybe they had more in back, and she asked about them. And um, then I wanted the sweet Italian cream, uh, coffee creamer, and they were out. And so we got a couple more of the coconut cream, which which we like too. So it was no biggie. Right? Yep. Honey, you cannot sit there and shake your head. We go through this all the time. We sit there going... I'm a bobble-headed doll. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's about all we got really going on. I don't know. I feel very unmotivated today. Can you tell? I did do dishes. Yes, I did start did. laundry early. Brad started in a little bit. I did start laundry because I had bedding. Um, I'm going to have to take water pills. And then wrap my leg because they're, they're leaking pretty bad. So, that's exciting. <laughs> I might have put me some, some maxi pads on my ankle, my cankles again. I'm probably going to have to. That's a good idea, actually. My cankles need some, some care. Okay. Okay. Stay free. Stay free. Mm -hmm. It's the only brand I can ever remember. Kotex. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Or you'll suck up pads. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they make those out of seaweed and they suck up oil. Yep. Well, they don't make them out of seaweed. They can make them out of hair, too. Any length of hair. So yep. if, you, if you're afraid to donate your hair because you think, well, my hair is chemically treated, like most of ours are, and or that it's, you know, got gray in it, you can, or it's short. They'll take any type of hair to make these mats that they use to help soak up oil cells. So that's pretty cool. I did not realize that. Yes. So there's always a place that will take hair. So, yeah. You never know. There might be somebody with a cat at, at cancer patient that wants to have an outgrowth just like this. Made into a wig. Well, the first time we cut off my hair, we I, we donated it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. I had just donated mine right before that. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. Don't really have much else going on. Oh, can you... Um, well, I'll try to show you guys. I finished that painting. Oh, yeah. And I forgot to grab it. Um, I may have to show it to you guys tomorrow, um, but it, it, it turned out, I think, well. Yeah. And I normally don't like any of my stuff. But, yeah. Yeah. No, 
it turned see. out phenomenally well. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I did give it to Mr. Heidi because he puts up with my crap, and sometimes I can be a little hard to put up with. I know that's hard for you all to believe, but it's true. You know? So, hopefully you can see this. Yeah, you see it pretty well. So that's the finished one. The rocks are all um, done with plaster. And then I, I formed them and stuff. So it gives a real true 3D uh, feeling or look. So, yeah. That's... It's a pretty big. It's a 16 by 20 on a stretch canvas. Mixed media with the plaster buildup. That is, uh, that's one of my favorite, favorite paintings. It's, uh, yeah, I like it. I mean, okay, I was looking at it last night thinking of some things I could change. And it depends on the lighting in the room, how it looks, I've noticed. Because the rocks mm -hmm. are done the way they are with plaster, and it actually molded. I mean, I actually chiseled and stuff. So, it depends on the lighting. And so, yeah, but you still need to spray that today. I will. You know. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah. Because, uh, well, yeah, it does need to be sprayed. So, Angel, our cat, is so funny. We've been trying to <clears throat> love up on her some extra because we can tell that she's she's getting closer. And, um, you know, we've been, had this with so many cats. Um, but... So, we let her lick out of both of our, when we were done, our, our bowls had a little bit of ice cream in it. Um, she was, she was happy about that. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, I couldn't believe. She cleaned up both bowls. Yeah. So, but she, I don't know, last night it's kind of like she came in and, and was looking for us. Uh-huh. You know, so, I mean, we just been loving her up and stuff extra, because. You know, I mean, like I said, she's 20, and, um, uh, you know, that's a long time for a cat to live anyway, and, and you can tell she's starting to really slow down and have more difficulty and stuff, so, you know. Well, yeah, when she was younger, she could jump from the ground to the top of the fridge. Yeah, it was amazing. She was our best jumper. Hi, yeah. Chloe. What are you doing, little man? Come here. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, she was our best jumper ever. Yeah. I mean... And she could jump long distances, too. I mean, wow. She's the one that ruined our screen door. And she ruined numerous screens in our house yeah. in Wyoming. Yeah. You know? And um, she would just push right through them. You know? Oh, I, and several times she jumped from the ground up on, on my shoulder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. And then you can always remember the moonwalk. Yeah, I've already told them about okay. that. About you know, so I mean, she's been a really good cat. We probably won't have any cat more cats after that. And knowing that is why I did <clears throat> not get one of the litter boxes that like self cleans itself. Otherwise, I probably would have looked into it. But um, I don't. No sense putting in that kind of expense, you know, for a very elderly, you know, semi blind cat, you know. So, just make her time as comfortable as, as we can, right, Charlie? Oh, yeah. We always love up every night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's been sleeping with Bradley. So, he has her and Nixie in, in his room. Well, when Nixie comes in there, half yeah. time she's in my room now. Yeah. You know, the other, last night, I, I would get out of bed, and I'm getting ready to use the restroom, you know, how, how we all are. And I almost tripped over her. I didn't realize she was at on the floor at the end of my bed. Yeah. And it was semi, you know, it's pretty dark over in that corner of my room. I did redo my room last, yesterday. Um, I was sick of it. It was a big mess, and I was sick of not having enough room in there. And, because I need more room to paint. So, I decided to take out this little rolling desk that I had, that I had my computer and stuff on, and it really opened it up much nicer. Yeah. Brad is able to use his, get his walker all the way back. Brad doesn't use his walker very much now, um, but it, when it gets to later in the evening, he does because he's getting tired and he's, and he's sore, 
you know, he's in some pain and stuff, you know, and um, yeah. so he hasn't been able to get it in my room, really. And I'm going to go check the mail here in a little bit, mm -hmm. and, you know, and I will take it. Because I had ordered some mail. Aleve and some B12 from Amazon. They, you know, Alexa gave us the notification that it was here, <laughs> you know. Because it said her name. Oh, she, she, she's not in love with me the way she is in love with you. Oh, well, yeah. She loves her brand. She thinks he's magnificent. But, um, yeah, so I, I did that. I, I cleaned my room and stuff, and, you know, it took a while to put away stuff and kind of reorganize it. But it will be a good fit. I want to get, we figured that I'll be able to get a six-foot table in there. I just, I just want a folding, like, craft table in there. So I have, what do you think, that'd give me about 12 feet to work on of a space? If uh, we put another six foot table in there, a painting yeah. space. Yeah. You know, because I need, I need that room. I know it seems like a lot, but I need the room. I like to have at least three paintings going at the same time. Like, right now I'm a little lost. I finished that painting. I don't have any other going. Usually I have multiples going, and and the reason I don't right now, what is that? This is that um, leaf blower. Yeah, Fred leaf blower came in yesterday. We'll talk about that in a second. But oh, and my 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 um, piercing kit came in too, but I have not done it yet. Obviously, um, uh, I will maybe tomorrow, maybe later tonight. You know, um, yeah, Saturday night. Let's go put some more holes in your face. <laughs> here. And I'll do one here and one here. See, and then it will be like this side of my head will go like this because I have the most piercings on this side. I don't know why I don't give the same kind of love to my right side of the face, but no, it's all the left. I don't yeah. know why. That's just what I'm partial to. Yeah. Well, I, and I remember... Didn't you like looking at those needles I showed you last night? <laughs> 14 and 16 gauge, I think it is. <laughs> I don't know. That's just that was scary. Well, what did you think of the clamp? The hemostats yeah, are like... Was, yeah, that was scary too. <laughs> yeah. But it'll, it'll be good. Well, and I told you I really like those uh, um, one uh, earring, nose ring combo that they had. That oh, the Star chain. Track. Yeah. And um, I mean, was, some women do wear that, basically. I think they're more kind of a, a maybe, a, you know, Iran, Iraq, oh, Egypt okay. type. Certain cultures do wear and it looks very elegant. Mm -hmm. I would get it ripped out because my little dog would decide that she needs to palm my face like she does and she would go yeah. So, that would not be good. Miss Jellybean would do that. You'd be a lover today. Right? I can see her doing that. So, that's about all we got going on. Nothing real exciting. I just kind of wanted to relax and, you know, watch a movie, eat, eat a piece of pizza. And, you know, Brad <sighs> made his um, dish last night. It was out of panay noodles and different spices and chicken. And mushrooms and broccoli. You want to explain? Yeah. The broccoli in the dish went the way of the chocolate chip cookies at three seconds. Yo, and shut up about that. I told you I could either finish that painting or I can do the chocolate chip cookies. I cannot do both. But you know what? You gave me enough grief over the, the broccoli. He hands me the bowl of dinner. And I'm like, I'm looking. I think, well, maybe the broccoli is just colored brown now. I'm really looking forward to having some broccoli in this dish, y'all. Because I've been craving broccoli. And then I'm like, where's the broccoli? He goes, oh, shit. You know. And he's like, give me a few minutes. I'll go. And I'm like, no, never mind. I'm like, it's okay. We really look forward to having it all day long. But it's okay. I don't need to have me any vegetables. The mushrooms are enough. And, and, and the spices. 
which I wasn't too sure about. I'm not a big fan of oregano. It actually upsets my stomach. He did reduce the amount, and then it had some other crap in it. And then it called for lemon juice, which was... That was too weird. That was too weird. I was I was questioning that yeah. when I saw it. Yeah. And uh, when I was eating it last night, that's all I could think about. But that's was, okay, because the broccoli soaked up all the lemon juice. It was good. Yeah, that lemon, that yeah. broccoli, which made that dish go over. Well, and that's I, mm. I love that glass of milk I had yesterday to Did get you? my get my chocolate chip cookies in. I know it was good, huh? While you while you looked at the painting that yes. I so lovingly finished for you, mm -hmm. so you could have it, and you thought I was gonna sell it. I could still sell it. Nope. It would probably sell pretty easily. Yep, but nope. I could sell it. He's supposed to donate me back a couple paintings, y'all, because this is a big painting. And well, you said you were going to donate I'm a couple gonna, back to me. I'm not going to give back the horse. And nobody wants that fucking horse. And? A darn horse. And I hate that horse I did. I'm going to, I definitely got to keep the hands across time. Well, yeah. And then <clears throat> I got to keep my, keep my dragon. You know? Tell the best to come back. Well, and this painting. I here, didn't give you the snow one, did I? Yeah. Well, that one you need to give me back, but I'll sell that one. That's a good one. And I, I need some, I need to be able to sell some of my work. Well, so the ones you give me, you take me back. You said you would donate a couple I back. Said, I, I told me cannot keep all my work. He has to start giving me a couple paintings when I give him, uh, depending on the size. Now this is a big painting. And I will, I will choose the paintings when we find them all. Oh no, we're not going with when we find them all because you'll keep telling me you haven't found them all. Yeah. No, you need to donate. But, you know, it's like this painting right here. Oh the God. One of that. that here yeah, on Rock Bay. Can you hand it to me so I can show them which one you're talking about? It's a, that's a, an acrylic, but the way I did it was more like a watercolor. Yeah. He's talking about this one I did. And you see the pier. When you kind of see a storm there. Wait. There's the pier. So. You know, and then uh, there's... Well, if I would have done that, I would have died. Do you want to throw my paintings? Uh, no. I, I can throw my paintings. I fucking, I mean, I made it. <laughs> I got a potty mouth. Hey, don't tell me how to be on my channel, okay? I'm not. I'm not. I'm just giving you, giving you a little green tea. Okay. But I apologize. Half time he's telling me how I should be on my channel, and we go <laughs> back and forth about this. Then I have threatened to kill him. But Carol and I have a deal now that if we say to the other person, two shovels, the other person needs to come to that person's house and preferably bring some bell money, too. <coughs> that means we're going to be burying one of the husbands, preferably we think they're dead, and then we may get arrested, so we're going to need to have some money. So, that's it. So, Carol knows. You just say to me, two shovels. I know. I know the time has come. And vice versa. You know, Keep it up, Spanky. I think you should probably look at, <coughs> if you're going to off one of us off, off her husband, because odds are he's probably a lot smaller than me, so you wouldn't have to dig as he big is. a hole. <laughs> I can get one of these farmers over here to help me. Let's see. Give us extra fertilizer in their crop. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they would want a, an accessory to murder charge on there. They would. Mm -hmm. I would tell them I'd bake them some chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> 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 you behave, and you might get some chocolate chip cookies tomorrow. You don't behave, you ain't never getting any. Okay? No cookies for you. But you do have to get back some paintings, okay? You cannot keep all of them. You only have so much wall space. And unless you're going to donate to the cause, start donating some money so I can have art supplies. Well, wait, you already do, but he already does. <coughs> some of my friends donate 
supplies too, like she's showing us stuff too. You know, Shoshona, I used last night, and it's one of the sets that you sent me, and it's got this shimmer to it. And that's part of what I used on that painting. I hit the reflective rocks that come, you know, that would be hit by the sunlight, and it just made it just pretty cool, didn't it? Brad? Yes, it did. You know? Let me see. Yeah. I'm trying to show. Let's turn. Up there on the very top, so see that little bit of gold and stuff there? Yeah. It was like, that's actually not a gold, it looks like it. It's actually a, like, olive green, but it's got that shimmer, that iridescent to it. And so it looks gold on, on the brown rocks, and it yeah. looks just like the sunlight's hitting it. Yeah. So, and I used some of it in the water, too, which you can't see as well. You can up close, but, yeah. Yeah, so lots of fun to do. I haven't done a painting in such detail in well over a year, probably a year and a half at least. Um, because, you know, landscapes and stuff like that take a lot longer. There's so many layers of paint. And it's like the water alone, I think you've noticed that there's so many different colors in it. Um, because water is very reflective of, of any... Water is very reflective of any kind of color and light around it. So you're always going to have your water, the reflective light bouncing, basically. Any, any water movement that's got to go with it, it's just, um, it's a beautiful thing. And you think about water, it goes in so many <coughs> different forms from, from fog, snow, rain, moving water splashes you have then you have even like your ice cubes and glaciers and that kind of stuff to me it's a very just mesmerizing thing but you're always going to know that if you have water it's always if you really look at it it has all the reflective colors around it it's just magic <clears throat> magically delicious yes I love the um, the photos of usually they're a high mountain lake where you got the the mountain peak behind it and yep. then you can see I mean yeah. it's just yeah almost an exact yeah range. sometimes it'll be almost an exact sometimes if there's some water movement it will be somewhat blurred you know whether it's slightly or more um, you know so yeah I love that I do. That's why I think I'm drawn so much to landscapes. If you guys notice, I do I do abstracts. I'll do acrylic pores, which I kind of quickly burned out on that. Um, or I will do landscapes and that type of thing because I really love nature. I love being outside. To me, a good time is going outside and just enjoying nature. So I I can't think of any. Well, except for this painting here, but pretty much every single painting you do has either water or trees or both. Yeah. Brad pointed that out to me last night. He said, you know, the landscapes you've been doing, you know, let's say the last maybe 10 landscapes I've done, I have a lot of artwork just sitting in, in tote. I need to go through, we need to category it, inventory it, decide what what the movers didn't destroy yeah. and didn't decide we're going to sell it or not. But yeah, that usually it involves water or trees or both. Mm -hmm. And I really love painting birds. You know, I'd like to get more into painting more uh, aquamarine life and stuff. I mean, definitely, you know, but I don't want to do your classic dolphins jumping over and stuff because I spend so, so done. You know. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. And you're not a follower. Uh, really? I know. What? Hard to imagine. Isn't it? I am a follower. Yeah. I am a I am a conformist. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm conservative. You're a follower to your own drummer. I'm not very conservative either on some stuff. Some stuff I am. Yeah. Some stuff no. Some yeah. stuff I can be out there. Not that I try to be it just just am, it is. you know. 
I don't think you, you need to act a certain way because of whatever age you are. I know some people that are like older than me that act like they still like have the mentality of a teenager and you're like, dude, how old are you? Yeah. You know? It's like really wow. You know. Then there's people I know that are like thirty and they act like they're ninety. Yeah. It's like, dude, really? Brad especially loves it when I call him dude. It's his right. Right? Mm -hmm. You know what he said to me? He called me dudette then. Yeah. You know, but, um, yeah, we've been sitting around kind of making some plans for next week. I guess we have done some stuff. Uh huh. We're making plans for next week, goals and stuff. Yeah. It's time to, what? One of the dogs has gas. Oh, it's, the, it's your boy. It is bad gas. He, I smelled it all night. He, his butt was right up by my pillow. It was not <laughs> a place. That's probably why I couldn't sleep. I was out of fear. But we decided that now that Brad is recovering so well, and that we're going to start stepping it up on finishing up this house. Cause like I was telling you guys, I want to get a six-foot table. I mean, it's going to be a couple weeks. You know, I just can't really swing it right now. But, and, and put it there so I have about a 12-foot space, and I can put multiple easels up there. And, because I like to be working from about three paintings on. Now, the easels don't, I no longer can have a painting up on the easel and paint it. Because of my arms and stuff, I have to lay the, the I have to prop it up, like on my lap and do it, or lay it down. Which is fine. Whatever works, right? And so, but that would give me a lot more room. Plus, you know, your paints and palettes and stuff take a lot of room. They do. My great big paint bucket. Yep. Then I got to have one for water. Sometimes I'll have two for water. Because if I'm doing something with a lot of blacks and dark colors, I don't want that water to be in with that I use for any of my lighter colors. Because it'll make it kind of muddy looking. And I don't like that. So they always put a little bit of salt in my water because it makes the colors a little brighter. I did mm -hmm. not know that. And a little bit of, of like a drop or two of soap, you know. So I've been known to sometimes put a little bit of fabric softener in. You know, if you think your brushes are kind of, you know, really getting too stiff, put a little bit of fabric softener. They'll love you for it. <laughs> you know, yes. I was just, I, I don't know why. Oh, I just Lord, here about we go. This. What? The, the, Benches that you sat on up at uh, Casper College. Yeah. Where they had, it yeah. was almost like the ottoman yeah. with, a, you yeah. with an easel on one. Yeah, hand. you straddled them. Is that, a lot of a lot of places have benches like that? One, two, three, seven. I'm just finishing my coffee. I know. Um, I don't know. They're getting rid of them because Richard was retiring, so <clears throat> even before I left, I was so mad at that one teacher that I won't say who she is, but I did not like her a bit, and you know why. But um, she was already getting rid of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Those were not comfortable, because you straddled them. It was like um, a long, it was like a <clears throat> bench, but you sat on it. This is your bench, but you sat on it, you straddled it, and then had an easel part there. Um. So, I mean, I got used to it, obviously. I, I spent many, many, many hours in that room all, all every day. But, and then I would do additional hours just because I love being in there, you know. So, you know, um, Richard didn't mind. Richard could go and have lunch and leave the room open because I was in there. Yeah. Nobody was going to come in there and mess with nothing. Yep. You know, so. Yep. He was down for it. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering about those. Yeah. Because I'd never seen anything like that, but I don't, I haven't spent a whole lot of time in an art room. I had never seen anything like that either because, you know, like in high school, they just had your normal desk. Yeah. And then even then, when you get to be a senior in high school, you know, you take, I took back to back classes then of, of all art classes. Um, we set it the senior table, which was actually a great big drafting table that was flat and the high bank, high stools and stuff. 
but you know, you, you only had to be the elite of the artist of the senior class to sit at this table. That okay. means there were three of us there, me and two guys. Which we were all friends, but you know, because they're just us. <laughs> yeah. We spent a lot of time together, <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I was curious. I yeah. don't know why I came out of the blue and thought about that, but yeah, yeah, I was wondering about that. But yeah, so I'm eager to get get that set up um, more conducive because I have. Um, a stool that I sit on. It doesn't have a back on it or anything. And but it'll be nice to just be able to roll back and forth. Ideally I'd love to get you know how they have the for office chairs that that flat Oh yeah. Yeah. I'd love to get a long piece of that for there, but yeah. I pro I probably won't that would I think it would cost some money and I don't want to yeah, you, put too much money in. You had one of those uh office mats in mm -hmm. Casper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah I did. So um you know, I need a long one. So I could just go, wee, wee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get my party on. You know, I'm partying when I'm painting. Yeah. You hear me singing? Oh, yeah. It depends on the mood. I might do some nickelback and some harder stuff. You know, I might even do some doors and, and, uh, I think you like the doors. Yeah, I like some of their stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. You have to like some of their stuff. Oh, please. Yeah. People are strange. Mm -hmm. One of my all time favorite songs. So, I mean, you know, I'm going to do the harder rock. I'm going to do the rock. I'm going to do the country. No, I don't do much country. And I don't like the old style country at all. It's just me, but, you know. I, I, uh, uh, Meet in the Middle by Diamond Rio. Mm hmm. Yeah. Got that on my They're playlist. very cool. Yes. Diamond Reel. That was that was huge. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we got going on. Not anything much. Me lining him out. Trying to keep him on the straight and narrow. Because he's becoming more beastly the older he gets. Ladies, are you having this problem too? They where'd all their manners go as you guys get older? And I've explained to you this. Oh, God, here we go. We'll keep it Reader's Digest condensed. Oh, version. please. Okay. Because, <laughs> because you're so used to, or you get so sick eventually, of having to play nice in the business mm -hmm. world and everything. Yeah. And, Sorry. you know, there's some of these people that you have to smile and, and act nice when you just... And when they're really, real jerks. And, yeah, yeah, you'd really rather rip their throat out mm -hmm. and everything. So once you get retired, you get out of the business world, you know, you're tired of this. But you still have good manners with the wife. It will make your life a lot easier. Well, I know, but... Do see, you have good manners with your wife? But see, and I agree with you, but you want to see all of me, just not... No, I don't just, want to see all of you. Just Trust not me, the, I don't. Just not the... the the, the meanie nice. face? What? The meanie cranky face? Yeah. I don't want to see him. He can go sleep under rocks. Well, yeah, but you don't want me to just just hide most yeah, of Yeah, I want you to hide you. that. I do want you to hide that. I I would hide it if I had chocolate chip cookies. Oh. <laughs> I knew we were going to be though, going there. You know, I'm going to take some chocolate chips and shove them somewhere. Not very nice. Well, I don't have any chocolate chips. I can't make those cookies. Yes, you do. I know no, where, I where they're at. God, here we go. Aldi has some good priced chocolate chip cookies and stuff. Or chocolate chips. See? Got me thinking about cookies now. But um, I don't think you really need any right now, do you? Why not? Wouldn't you have some fudge stripe cookies or something? I do. Well, you got to finish those. I no, that. don't run out to finish them all. But I only will bake him one thing at a time. And then I like to space it out because otherwise the boy will eat whatever I bake. But see, the last and I can't blame it. The last thing you baked was the apple pies. Okay, but you do have cookies though, and, and until your cookies are gone, I'm not making any more because I don't want you to be overloaded with sweets. It's not good for your diabetes. So we need to wait a few days. 
but it's been, I mean, with the, with the pies, that was before I had surgery. No, okay, let the pies go. They've already been pooped out Finally. long ago. <laughs> but you have cookies now that you, I, unless you're going to put those cookies away. Far away. No, I, you and said, concentrate on your chocolate chip one. You set a goal for me, so. No, don't go and eat. If you eat all them tonight, I'm just not make. I'm not making you any cookies until Wednesday. Now, <clears throat> you gotta move from tomorrow to Wednesday. Cause now I remember that you have cookies. Now we have to space it out. I don't want you to go in a diabetic coma. I don't want you to have high numbers. It won't be good for your healing. Okay, and if you don't behave, I will tell your surgeon, your physical therapist. I'll tell your physical therapist she can make your life H E L L. She could. Are you not scared? Not scared. <sighs> Ladies. After what I did to that one physical therapist in Casper, I'm not no, scared. No, don't break the physical therapist, okay? You want that poor boy. Across the room on his butt. He ain't never been the same, I don't think. I think he had to have surgery after you got done with oh, him. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I look at him whenever they say, hey, squeeze my hand as hard as you can. I'm like, you don't want that. Okay, don't say that to him. Because I've seen him reach out and squeeze somebody, shake somebody's hand, and I've heard bones crunching. And they're like, the, the guy is standing there going, uh, you know, try not to react. Like a challenge. Accepted. And then you hold on to it, too. It's like, see, now he's feeling better. You can see how much crap he's giving me? He's feeling better. I may have to beat you, though. Oh, please. Mm-hmm. Looking at you, mister. No chocolate chip cookies till when they keep going. You may not get them till next week. Well, if if I don't get them till Wednesday, then tomorrow I'll probably have to make some peanut butter cookies. No, you're not making any <coughs> peanut butter cookies. We don't have enough peanut butter for that. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Mm -hmm. No, you don't need any peanut butter cookies. I'm, I am law. I am telling oh. you no. Okay. okay. Behave. I'm being haven. No. I think there's a channel name. It's called like Sassy Grand Doris or something. You guys all got to check that out. This woman is just funny. And her grandson. Her grandson is actually a very famous film producer. Named Giovanni and Gillia or something like that. But anyway. So it's grandma is now 96. And mom is 75. Grandma and mom live together. 75-year-old mom is grandma's kind of caretaker helping her and stuff. But what a pistol these two are. They are funny. You know, here's grandma. She's got her false fall eyelashes. And she gets dressed up every day. And she, I mean, she's a nice-looking lady. So is mom. So it's pretty cool. Brad even been listening to them and stuff. Yeah, have fun. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, are. They are. Grandma and, and grandma and mom, because they're in California, smoke some some legal cannabis at only at night, and they get funny. It's like, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Grandma fell and broke her hip. Refused to stay in the hospital more than a day. <laughs> you know. I can understand that. Well, you know, especially when they say, well, you know, people her age stuff, when they say do this, normally don't make it out. So she heard that and it was, oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the channels that are fun. Yeah. Well, that's when I was in the hospital. I was going to do everything I could to get out there, get out of there. I told you, don't act like you feel a lot better than you do. I did. You know, they say jump day high, how high? You're going to be the best, most cooperative student they ever seen, you know, so you can get out. Yeah. Then you can die when you get home. Yes, exactly. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I love you guys. I do cherish your friendship so very much. And I think you guys are awesome. And everybody say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.